Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. We often hear about high blood pressure, but we tend to dismiss its importance until we have it and are struggling with it. It can become overwhelming thinking about the dangers of having high blood pressure. Before we talk about the dangers of high blood pressure, let's take a moment and better understand what high blood pressure actually is. Your blood pressure has two numbers. The higher number, or top number, is called systolic blood pressure. It's the pressure with which your heart pumps blood into your arteries. The lower value, or bottom number, is called diastolic blood pressure. It's the pressure in your arteries between two heartbeats. The normal readings of blood pressure are 120 over 80. Anything more than 140 over 90 is considered high blood pressure. It's believed that over 25% of the world's population has high blood pressure. So this is a serious health issue that has serious dangers. In this video, I'm going to talk about the seven serious dangers that are caused by high blood pressure. Number one, stroke. Stroke is a condition where your brain or parts of your brain stop working. This typically happens when there's a clot inside any of the blood vessels of the brain. The clot doesn't allow blood to reach certain portions of your brain, and that's when those parts of the brain are deprived of oxygen and other nutrients. As a result, the brain cells die and the brain loses its ability to work properly. This could cause several conditions depending on which part of the brain is affected. A mild stroke may not cause severe or lasting symptoms, but a bigger and more serious stroke could make you lose your speech your mobility, or even your ability to think, and the biggest strokes could lead to either lifelong paralysis or even death. One of the major causes of stroke is high blood pressure. When your blood pressure rises, it damages arteries in different parts of your body, and damaged arteries constrict blood flow, which can cause a stroke. Number two, dementia. The link between dementia and high blood pressure has often been debated. But recently, there was a study from the American Heart Association that shed some light on this area. The study had 7,000 participants. Scientists recorded the cognitive health and blood pressure of these participants for four years. Cognitive health is the ability to clearly think, learn, and remember. A decline in cognitive health may cause dementia. Of these participants, some had high blood pressure. These people weren't on any medications. At the end of the study, the researchers found that those participants with uncontrolled high blood pressure had a fast decline in cognitive function. This indicates that high blood pressure could potentially cause dementia. Number three, kidney failure. Your kidneys have the important task of flushing out waste from your body. It's critical that your kidneys receive oxygen and other nutrients to do their job well. High blood pressure damages arteries and veins, which often restricts blood flow throughout the body. If the blood flow to the kidneys is restricted, they don't perform properly. When your kidneys lose their ability to clean toxins inside your body, wastewater and fluids begin to build up. This causes your blood's chemical makeup to get out of balance and your blood pressure to rise even further. And so the vicious cycle continues. Your kidneys will completely fail if something doesn't change to help improve the kidney's ability to filter out the toxins and the water in your body. Left untreated, this is life-threatening. Number four, vision loss. High blood pressure can cause what's called hypertensive retinopathy. Hypertensive retinopathy is a condition that affects the retina of your eyes. The retina is a bundle of tissues behind your eyes. These tissues convert the images that fall on your eyes into nerve signals. The brain interprets these signals to understand the image, and that's how you can see. But high blood pressure thickens the vessels that supply blood to the retina. Over time, this may cause so much damage that your retina stops working. When untreated, this condition may lead to loss of vision. Another cause of loss of vision from high blood pressure is stroke. If the part of your brain that interprets images is affected by high blood pressure, your vision may be impaired. Number five, erectile dysfunction. High blood pressure damages your blood vessels, causing them to narrow and harden. 
When the arteries that supply blood to the penis are damaged, the blood flow to the penis is greatly reduced, making it more difficult to maintain an erection. A group of scientists at Georgia Health Sciences University study their research on this topic. The study found that about 30% of men with high blood pressure have erectile dysfunction. In addition, many drugs that treat high blood pressure can also cause erectile dysfunction. What's very important to know is that erectile dysfunction is an early warning sign of damaged blood vessels. So it's vital to discuss your side effects with your doctor so that you can get the right treatment for your blood pressure and continue to have healthy, intimate relationships. Number six, heart attack. A heart attack is one of the most direct health hazards of high blood pressure. True to form, high blood pressure causes the coronary arteries to narrow from a buildup of plaque. Plaque comes from a buildup of fat, cholesterol, and other harmful substances. When this plaque forms on the inside of the arteries, the arteries harden, which increases the likelihood of developing blood clots. Blood clots and plaque block the blood which supplies oxygen and nutrients to portions of the heart muscles. Slowly, these heart muscles get damaged or die and this causes a heart attack. Number seven, heart failure. Heart failure can take years to develop and is a condition where the heart can't provide enough blood to the body. High blood pressure increases your risk of developing heart failure due to the narrowing and blocking of the blood vessels. This narrowing of the arteries and the loss of elasticity causes the heart to work harder. When the heart works harder, it reacts by thickening and enlarging. When the heart gets thicker and enlarges, it eventually becomes too stiff to effectively fill the heart with blood, and this causes a reduction in the flow of the blood through the body. When blood flow decreases in the body, the body doesn't get the adequate amounts of oxygen and nutrients that it needs to make the body function properly. Eventually, this causes heart failure. Since heart failure doesn't happen overnight, the sooner you gain control of your high blood pressure, the sooner you are able to avoid heart failure. In summary, uncontrolled high blood pressure can cause many life-threatening conditions. Fortunately, your body is resilient and you may prevent these dangers by following a healthy lifestyle. Eat a healthy diet. Exercise regularly. If you smoke, it's time to quit and limit your alcohol intake. Following these healthy practices and sticking to your doctor's advice can help you live a longer, healthier, and active life. Hi there, if you suffer from high blood pressure like I do, and you want to receive my educational videos about how to lower your blood pressure, I'd like to ask you to do three simple things right now. Number one, click the subscribe button right there. And then number two, click on the bell icon right down there so that I can notify you the moment I release a new video. And number three, watch another one of my more popular healthy blood pressure videos right over there. Okay, thanks for watching and have a happy and healthy day.